What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Horror Roadside Show. Today, we are in Wilton, New Hampshire, at the grave of Mary Ritter Spaulding at Vale End Cemetery. This cemetery is said to be haunted by a woman in blue. And the grave right behind me that you see, right here, is her grave. Let's get into the story. died but there are a couple of theories that have gone around for quite some time supposedly she was hanged or she was killed by a demonic cult or she was buried alive by her husband there's no proof of anything of how she died so that those theories are all speculation there's a story uh, no, it's not really a story. It's like friends of on this YouTube channel. Uh, prior to going to these locations, I like to do my research to know what the hell I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So I was doing research and it said that a mother and daughter had come here to do an investigation after leaving the Gilson Road Cemetery, which is about 45 minutes away from here. We do. We have videos of Gilson Road Cemetery. Um, Here's the card for it right there. Just click that and it'll send you there. But watch this one first. So, they had come here because the daughter was getting an eerie vibe from Gilson Road Cemetery. So they figured they'd go somewhere a little nicer. So they came here after hearing about Mary Ritter. While they were here, supposedly in one of these graves around, they saw a black figure appear. And they didn't like that, so they took off. They left so much in a hurry that they clipped one of their mirrors from their vehicle off as they were leaving. Now it's said that a week later, after them investigating here, the mother was found passed away in her vehicle and died of a sudden heart attack with no prior heart conditions. So that's, that's a little strange. They think something may have followed them from Gilson Road Cemetery, and it's possible. Jenna and I like to take our precautions in ridding any spirits of following us. We don't want that to happen. No, no, no. <laughs> We've had experiences of things following us from locations and do not recommend. The woman that passed away in her car was part of a paranormal group. The lead paranormal investigator came back a week later and was getting some really eerie vibes just like prior. He said he encountered some short, red, furry humanoids. I've never heard of anything like that before in my life, but sounds creepy to me. The cryptids and... That's the word. The cryptids. It's, it's almost like Sasquatch. Yeah. Um, the Wampanoag tribe that used to live in this area claimed that there were these humanoid furry animals, you know, humanoid animals that would roam the woods. You know, other people have come here to the cemetery and claimed that they saw those humanoid creatures. I always have my eyes peeled. You know, I could look and talk to you guys, but I, I do have my eyes peeled. In case they see any shadowy figures, which is said to be seen here, as well as those humanoid figures. But the most well-known thing sighted in this cemetery is of a blue light that comes up from Mary's grave. Some say it's about three feet wide to six feet tall of a blue beam of light. And there is a house and a road right down here it's actually a big steep hill that goes down yeah. and people that drive by say they see the beam of light or people that come here in the dark which is prohibited say they see that light 
Always keep your eyes peeled because you never know what you're going to see, especially if you're paranormal investigating. What I find totally messed up is that after Mary died in 1808, her husband remarried and only a year later she died. And what did he do? He put his new deceased wife on top of Mary in the same grave. So they're buried in the same plot. In the same six feet under there. So Janet and I are trying to figure out the other wife's name. And we don't seem to see it on this grave. No. Unless that's her initials on this one. No, that says... M2. M2, I don't know. Um, but she is, his second wife, is buried right here with Mary, which yeah. is pretty crazy. And Isaac Ritter is the husband, and it says they were married April 9th of 1795, making Mary 22. She's born in 73 to 95. What's weird is, it's, it is peaceful feeling here, but I have goosebumps. It is chilly out. I'm not saying it's paranormal, but I love the cold. I'm a big guy. I love the cold. My windows are always open. I love it cold. I, it was just weird that I got goosebumps all of a sudden and now they're gone. One of the other videos I watched on YouTube was a gentleman who came here and was doing an EVP session. He got something really cool, like a growl or a yell in one of his um, recordings. So we want to see if we can get something like that or something better or anything at all so let's go check out what we can capture on digital voice recorder hi mary my name is jenna my name is dale and we're here to see if we can get any communication with you i'm sorry that you died so young i'm 35 too we heard you had seven kids Can you tell us any of their names? Maybe place this right here. Yeah. This is us placing the recorder down. What was I going to say? Okay. Yep. Um, can you tell us how you died? It's not known how you died. People say you were hanged. Is that true? Or were you buried alive by your husband? Either way, the theories are very tragic. And if you can tell us how you truly did pass away, we would make sure that the truth would be known. Can you give us a sign that you're here? Yeah, lots of rain drips. Yeah. Things falling off of the pine trees. I was literally just telling Dale that, you know, I don't feel scared, nothing, but I feel like I'm being watched. Yeah, there is that airy feeling of being watched here. Well, Mary, we're going to take a listen and see if you said anything to us. Thank you for communicating. Well, we didn't catch anything that round, but we're gonna try one more time. And I think what we're gonna do is walk away from the digital recorder and just let it run. So nothing else was caught on that last round. Um, it was seven minutes long, roughly. Um, it was like six minutes, 58 seconds. And I'm just gonna take a stroll around, take a walk. I mean, we never have a long time, so it's nice. Evelyn's in school. Daddy's on vacation. 
you know, take a walk. So Dale and I are taking a walk and we're keeping our eyes peeled about all around us. And just do me a favor and comment below and let me know if you've ever seen a humanoid before or something else supernatural. Any kind of a cryptid. Yeah. Um, because I've, this is kind of like my first story of the, those type of things. So I find it very interesting. Yeah. Are they related to Bigfoot? <laughs> like, I don't know. Could be. I'm like the only... drawn over to this area. You know, I was literally just thinking that. Let's go take a walk down that way. Just be careful. Is it slippery? Yes. <laughs> That's one thing about being here. The ground is very wet and soft. Well, it's been raining for the past couple of days, too. Yeah. I'm walking on... It's like a sand path. It seems to be a little grippier than the muddy green patches you see. The male that had that interaction with the humanoids, did he say where in the cemetery that was? No. But it's not even just him. A lot of other people... Right, there were many other accounts. No, saying, it, it dates back from the Indians. Right, but I'm saying encounters. The first, yeah, encounter was in the 70s, I think it was. I, I don't have my phone either. Well, we can pick up EVPs on video, so... Well, if I see something, I can't run. <laughs> I'll slip and fall. <laughs> you and water-based surfaces do not mix. Nope. Ice, mud, nope. anything like that. Gravel. And we seem to fall. This area, well, like, over by the car. Yeah. I was feeling extremely weak. I was losing hearing. You know the muffly sound when you hear the ringing in your ear? Yeah, watch your step over there. Yeah. That just spells danger. So it was making me feel weak. <clears throat> Not sure what caused that, but I'm feeling weak over here too. You know one of my biggest fears? What? Is like going into, you know, like a wilderness place and then trying to get yourself out of it and you just keep going in circles. Like the Blair Witch. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, thank you. What is it, girl? <laughs> You're an ass. See anything? No. I don't like it. I mean, it's cold, but it's not that cold. No. I mean, it's cold, but it's not that cold. No. I mean, it's cold, but it's not that cold. No. It's just raw. And like you earlier, I have goosebumps up head to toe. See, and I'm fine right now. No. No. It's weird. What? That? Yeah. That's from a... Uh, like it was steps. No, it's like a bulldozer came and pushed the dirt. All right, guys. That's going to end it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. I thought it was really interesting hearing, you know, the story about mary and what happened to her and all the paranormal stories and if you do come here it's, it's in wilton new hampshire it's not a bad place it's a very small cemetery you just drive right up the hill and there's just a little circle that we're standing at right now where you can park and take a walk around and maybe you can catch something at Perfect mary's grave it. now what i'm going to do is i'm going to tell you how to get to mary's grave because nobody else explained that and you're kind of stuck looking for it. So, behind me is the road. You're going to come straight up. You'll see it's a hill. 
and you'll see there's a rotary or, or a circle you could drive around. If when you're coming in and you veer to the right, Mary's grave, right there. You can't miss it. It's it's broken off so it, the top comes to a point, so you can't miss it. So drive straight in up the hill, stay to the right of that little rotary, and you'll see her off to the right along the tree side, almost near the road. So guys, that being said, thank you for joining us today. Remember, share this video, like it please, because every time you guys like our videos, the YouTube algorithm pushes us ahead. Please do that for us and subscribe if you're new here. Thank you again. And remember, stay, stay spooky. spooky.